there, I'm Chef Ani, and for today's video, we are going to start by visiting a farm stand with my mom. Mama and I love to take trips like this because we get real inspired. We do. We see all sorts of things, and we think, well, what can we make what with this? What can we make with that? Well, we had quite the adventure this week. We had a bat flying in our house. That was exhausting. Nothing like sitting in your living room and then all of a sudden there's, there's a bat. So I'm back home in my kitchen and I thought we need to make something delicious from all that beautiful produce that we got at the farm stand. So today we are going to make burritos. Now we already have recipes for tortillas, guacamole, cheese sauce, salsa. So I'm going to show you really quickly here how to cook up beans. There is a lot of people out there who do not get excited over beans. But hold on there, pinto beans is a springboard for a variety of fantastic dishes. Beans are super healthy and super affordable. A staple in a plant-based diet, so enough talking. Let's get cooking. So the first thing we're going to do is just sort through the beans. Today I'm using organic dried beans to make sure that there's no stones or anything we don't want in our beans. Rinse these really well. Now that we've rinsed our pinto beans, we are going to cover the beans with water and let them soak overnight. It just so happens that I have some beans here which I already soaked. The next step is to rinse them really well. Now I'm going to put the beans in a crock pot. Beans are best if they're cooked slowly and tenderly. Cover the beans about two inches. So now we're going to flavor the water and you can get really creative with this But I like to add in a little onion garlic now if you don't want your beans to be really hot You can take out the seeds of the jalapeno throw in a bay leaf It gives such a nice flavor and some ground cumin for the exact recipe make sure to visit my website I'll put a link in the description of this video once the beans have cooked we are going to drain them now comes the fun part, we're going to mash these beans to make them refried beans for our burritos. And last but not least, salt to taste. Now our refried beans are ready for lunch, so we should get all the rest of the stuff ready. so much for watching this video make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed already I post new videos every Wednesday and give this video a thumbs up to join me in this adventure to eat healthier one recipe at a time nothing like it is it no <laughs> hello <laughs>